Hey everyone, this is Potato Couch, I'm Michael. I'm Tio. Welcome back to the Pokemon Game Live Live Day. Live Day. You feeb. 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 You're a anyway. feeb. Long time no see. Who is that? Oh, who's. Oh, oh, that's her. Okay. Long time no see. Did you get lost on the way here? <laughs> Hey, give me a brick. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. I thought we were done with that. Would they call it a lit lat bar? What about that? Because they don't have kittens in their world, they have littens. <laughs> so would they call it a lit lat bar? Is Kit Kat bar named after cats? I don't know. Hmm. Did you say you had fun? Hey, don't get twisted. I have lots of fun. You know this windbag. Uh, excuse me. Don't interrupt a girl when she's talking to her friend, asshole. Yeah, right. I bet you don't even know his name. Obviously, it's... Burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brick? His name's Rusty. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> his quirk is hard R. The R stands for respecting women. I was actually thinking of Pokemon Rusty version. Oh. By, uh, I think it's oh. Like, like, Dorkly. <laughs> I'm gonna be the greatest Pokemon master. Come on, Pikachu. <laughs> she leans over and, and whispers in my ear. Whispers <laughs> <laughs> my ear. Fuck me. <laughs> um. <laughs> she's so. She's so. She's so nice. <laughs> She's so close, I can smell the sweet fragrance coming off her. She's got a, it's like she's got a sweet scent about her. Psst. What's her name again? Ah, we're too close for comfort. <laughs> yeah, this is close for comfort. <laughs> I have a boner. <laughs> It's red. And, uh, I'm a firm believer in personal space. Bitch, you in my bubble. Ah, uh, yeah, red. We're besties. Always been. You're not fooling anybody. Wait. Red? Red! Oh, you're red! You're friends with me, right? You know me? I would hope so, being a roommate and all. Her roommate, your leaf. Yeah. <laughs> That's my name. Don't wear it out. My Arceus, you better cut the crap. Your acting is so bad that it's pissing me off. Give it a rest, Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> I know who Leaf is. They say his name so, so seriously and so scarcely. Yeah. <laughs> it's still guess. So every time I'm like Doritos. <laughs> Ran into her on our first day here. She helped me out of a tough spot. We're both short on time. So, we forgot to introduce ourselves. You need to wipe your mustache. You got cheese all over it. I like I. <laughs> like I give a rat his ass what happened. Ugh, you two have wasted he my. He made a pun! <laughs> what a goof! <laughs> What is with you, man? <laughs> uh, you two have wasted my time enough today. I got places to go and people to do. Smell ya! That's weird. Stop smelling me. <laughs> no, I... Come on. No, I... Smell ya? What does that even mean? It means he comes up and he sticks his nose in my armpit. Oh, it's pretty weird. It's not that much weirder than when I just stuck my tongue in your ear. What? Huh? <laughs> it's blue! Or as I call him, Doritos! Or as I'd to call him. What? <laughs> <laughs> or as I'd to call him, Doritos! <laughs> He's said that for as long as I've known him and I still don't understand it. Known him for a long time. I've known time. him for a long time. 
Not that I'm particularly proud of it. <sighs> so he's been smelling you for a long time? <laughs> what a creep. I'd say so. I'd say so, matey. <laughs> no! No! No, I work! <laughs> Let's go, Red. We'll be late for our first class. Where'd you go? Did I give her my Monica voice? Oh, I think I gave her the Monica voice. Just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave. Leave, huh? <laughs> the reals! <laughs> and me! In the same room! For the next two hours. You have homeroom with Doritos. Every day. For the next year. The next three years of my life. <laughs> this is going to be quite the semester. I fall to the floor. Venusaur! Typhlosion! I was making a reference, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Trower's Hour? I can't tell. What is that? It's... Is that a Trower's Hour? It's not a Trower's Hour. No, Swampert! Swampert. Uh, and Infernape is immediately across from him. Yes. That's a Swapper. That's oh, a Greninja. That is not Swapper. That is Superior. Superior. And that's Greninja. I'm tired. I have a lot of soul in my belly. So it makes me confused. Followingly, if we entered our homeroom classroom, what be? Two B or not two B? It's not two B. It's one B. <laughs> two B or nine S? <laughs> and damn, <laughs> this place rivals royalty. I feel crazy out of place. Matching everything else on campus, the classroom is big. Like, like really big. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Huge. <laughs> And the chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. Um, They're... chandeliers. I don't even want to think how much these cost. One life. Cause they're ghosts. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> Along the marble walls, I see some paintings of Pokemon that I recognize from books and TV shows. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to see any of them here. Yeah, they're on the walls. Stupid. May, I can't believe we're in the same homeroom. These coincidences are just piling up lately. Today. Today. Why did I say lately? Because I looked away from the screen <laughs> and I assumed. You know what they say about assuming? It makes an ass out of you? And me? Just you. Oh. Wait. Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> So, okay. Small world! I see you and Leaf finally got acquainted! <laughs> it's a small world! <laughs> Ow! Stop it. <laughs> May, do you remember the guy I told you about when we first met for our roommate match? Turns out you knew him all along. Oh, Red! Since you ran ahead without us after breakfast, now I can believe how you got lost on the first day. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Someday a strong sense of adventure is a good thing. I'll never be able to live this down, will I? A boy, stranded in the forbidden territory of the terrible senior girls. Sensing impending doom, he picked his poison and sought refuge in the abyssal bathroom of the fairest sex. It was then a beautiful maiden, a girl he knew nothing about, happened to stumble upon him at the right time, pulling him into the light and guiding him to sanctuary. God, she's a nerd and I love her. Thank you for the epic summer. I am in love with her. And you're the one who forced me into the bathroom. I, forced... I liked my window idea. I forced you into a lot of things. She performs, she performs a curtsy response. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love her. So unbelievably smooth. Since you're here, May, I'm assuming Brendan's in another class. Brendan's in class 1A next door. Oh, in bitches class? <laughs> <laughs> Is it just me or does Professor Oak look like he has a tiny face? <laughs> he does look like he has a tiny face. You should tell your father, May. 
that his recent article regarding the pros and cons of invasive bug Pokemon as biological control has been well received. I'm impressed. Invasive bug Pokemon. Somebody go stick a counterpin in my ass! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you can do. You can do, make me do anything if you were like, yo, I'm going to stick a canopy up your ass if you don't do that. <laughs> My Metapod only knows Harden. <laughs> Professor! Hello, Red. Great to see you settled in nicely here. I guess Dad's work in the field's been paying off. Talking about bitch? Please? No. For the last couple of years, it's not a, if it's not a swarm of Beedrill chasing him around, it'd be Ariados or the occasional Scyther. Scyther! 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 Uh, uh, TFS has been doing um, the platinum leg of their Nuzlocke, mm -hmm. and uh, they caught a Scyther. Yay! They named it Kyrja. K I R X I A. Kyrja. Why? Because <laughs> it needed an X in it. Okay. Ah, are you well versed in bug types, May? I assume you've gained a lot of experience while assisting with your father's work. I wouldn't pronounce it that way. I'm not too interested in bug types to begin with. Seems May knows Professor Oak through her father. I wonder how many other students know the staff through the personal connections. I see. So what Pokemon types will the three of you be focusing on this year? Fire and fighting. Sorry. Forgot was my line. Grass and electric over here. Oh, we missed her. Fire buzz. Me. If we picked electric. Oh. Excellent choices all around. Digital style. <laughs> Well, I hope all of you are ready. The bell will ring soon, so go ahead and find yourselves a seat. Let's sit together, May. As in the same seat, I want you on my lap. So, what do you think of Lee, Fred? I'd bone her. Pretty hot, huh? Absolutely charming. <laughs> She's a lot of fun to be around. It's like I can spot the Sayoris in, in games. <laughs> Come sit by us. She gonna kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen her Doki Doki playthrough, or any Doki Doki playthrough, sorry. Watch one. Ours, preferably. The Game Grumps have a pretty funny one. I will put a link in the top right corner if I can figure out how to do that. <laughs> gonna have to figure out how to do that. Also, put a link in the description. And in the comments. And in my butt. And at the end of the episode. And in my butt. I'd click that link. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> well, I'm sure as hell won't, I sure as hell won't sit by Doritos. Maybe Cheetos, but not Doritos. Those Doritos are just too tempting. I'll get the I'll get the powder all over my fingers. I'll gladly accept May's offer. Wait, May off something I wasn't paying attention. She offered to have him sit by her and leaf. Me. They're your friends now. Look, there's Oak. Good mo- What? There's a what? Oh, uh. Oak. Okay. Good morning, and welcome to your first class at Kobukun Academy. I'll be your teacher for this homeroom. You can call me Oak. But most pe people simply call me the Pokemon Professor. But that would be confusing since, like, there are ass tons of those here. This world is inhabited by creatures. Wait a second. He's doing the speech. He's doing the speech. <laughs> this world is inhabited by creatures we call Pokemon. People and Pokemon live together by supporting each other. I think I could skip this part. You're all smart enough to know what Pokemon are. You imagine if they said that? <laughs> I love that. I can't believe we're hearing Professor Oak talk right in front of us. The man's a legend. You know who else is a legend? My mom. My mom. All right.
I know! My dad's a huge fan of his! He's got all of his encyclopedias crazy! Oh man, he's gonna flip when I tell him I mean, he's clapped! You know who else is gonna flip? <laughs> My mom! <laughs> <laughs> hey, even outside of Kato, everyone knows him! I didn't know he was locked up, but locked up! I didn't know he was locked up in prison! <laughs> By so many people! He's like a superhero to him! Like Batman! Batman! Crow Batman? Batman! <laughs> There's actually a Batman parody in the Pokemon anime. Gligar Man. But to me, he's just my neighbor! <laughs> now, something you need to know about this class is that it's extremely difficult. Last year, almost half of this class failed! What is this freaking freaking Totsuki Academy? What? <laughs> that's that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> oh fuck! Oh. Holy crap! Holy crap! <laughs> All of a sudden, I don't feel like being in this class anymore. Yes, this class is challenging. But if you put in the work and keep at your studies, you should pass with flying type colors. <laughs> Uh, my job is not to assign you failing grades, but my job is not to coddle you either. My job is to make sure you graduate this school with the knowledge and skills to excel in the Pokemon world. Which brings me to my next point. As you all know, Kobuka is a very selective school, and it demands you to give your best at all times. Sorry, I'm reading this from a cue card. Or you will be surpassed by your peers. The graduation rate for this school is roughly 30%. It is not for the weak-willed or unmotivated. 30%? Did you say 30%? Like 3 out of 10? Yes, that's how, zero, math, that's how math works, four, right? 3? Or like... Or 3 tenths? Like 3 apples and a bunch of oranges? No, that's not it. Was thus. I wasn't eating things. I'm deaf. <laughs> I turned to look at me, and her mouth is hung open in dis disbelief. What? The voice you could do. Where's the mouse cursor? <laughs> Leaf looks frozen in shock too. Okay, those are two different yeah. effects. Can't be frozen and paralyzed at the same time. You gotta pick one. <laughs> On the other side, Doritos. Look, you leaning back. In Doritos his is leaning. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> it's very, very calmly and slowly doing his theme. The smug look on his bitch face. <laughs> yes, I just wanted to clear that up. Just in case anyone was c confused. Now, are any of you interested in competing in the Pokemon League after you graduate? Just by show of hands. Hey, phew, phew. Oh, no, I fell on my muck horn. A few dozen hands shoot up immediately. <laughs> Oh, Doritos yeah. has his hand way up there. No surprise oh, from the you bitch face. Poor souls. <laughs> but it's surprising that Leaf has her hand up too. I'm not sure why I was surprised by that. I know nothing about this girl. I don't want to look like a whip, so I'll put mine up. Little did I know, this was like signing my name on a devil's contract. In blood. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Oak was possessed by Giratina. <laughs> Take a good look around. 
All of you with your hands up won't be alive by the end of the semester. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Say goodbye to your classmates. Now, everyone in the two middle sections, put your hands down. There are fewer than ten students left with their hands raised. I think I know where this is going. It's a selection. We volunteered. Hunger Games. <laughs> That's the percentage of those who will actually qualify for the Pokemon League. And it is even less for those who can make it there. Now, don't let it discourage you. Let's start with some... One moment! What are we momenting? Actually, that's all we have time for anyway. Yeah. Uh. So. Bye! <laughs>